Libyan officials believe this attack was a pre-planned assault. If that turns out to be true, what is next here? Well, the FBI is expected to arrive, as you know, Randy, in, in Libya today. Um, they're trying to keep somewhat of a low profile because their presence there is a sensitive one. Um, we do know from a source with knowledge of the investigation that agents have been conducting interviews outside the country trying to gather as much information as they can about what happened in Benghazi. Um, investigators also plan to gather information on those people who were arrested by Libyan authorities. Now, the Libyan authorities have already come out and said that they don't believe those people who are in custody had any direct uh, knowledge or direct um, contact with the people who had um, carried this out. But they're trying to figure out exactly where that leads by gathering background information on those people. And what is the intelligence on this so far uh, here in the U.S.? I mean, did the U.S. know anything at all ahead of time? Wasn't there some type of warning that went out? Yeah, there's a little bit of Monday morning quarterbacking going on when you, of course, all of the intelligence that's come in since the attack, they're, they're piecing that together as best they can. We do know from a, a U.S. official that an intelligence cable was sent to the embassy in Cairo 48 hours before this attack took place. And it warned basically about the existence of that anti-Muslim film on the Internet and the fact that it had been gaining more popularity. More and more people were going and, and clicking on and watching it. Now, that was obviously a cause of concern because of the content. But there was no specific threat attached to that cable. And that's an important point. And I think that's why you saw so much difference in Washington this week about whether or not that was a planned attack. Because the administration was saying this was not anything that we had actionable intelligence on. That's not exactly the same thing as saying that it wasn't planned. It's just saying that the U.S. intelligence agencies weren't aware of any planning that was going on. However, consider the environment, Randy, and we've talked a little bit about this. People knew that there were well-armed groups already in place in Benghazi. They have infrastructure. They have vehicles. They're there. They also know that there are al-Qaeda sympathizers in the area. And then when you layer on top of that the fact that this film is out there, you pretty much can mm. guess what the response would be then the picture starts to become a little bit more clear. And that's what intelligence officials and, of course, the FBI are all trying to put together now. Yeah, recipe for chaos for sure. Uh, Suzanne, thank you. Appreciate that.